single day with each sunrise and with each sunset let's go to good Lord in prayer dear Heavenly Father dear God we thank you for this day thank you for coming to your house here in Shiloh ask your blessings be upon us bless the songs we're going to sing bless the readings from your good book bless the message that Daniel is going to bring today and may you open up our hearts and minds and may we be covered by your Holy Spirit touch us let us contemplate and think on the things that you said and the words of life and how they apply to us. This Lord, we, Lord, we come to you this week with our prayer concerns. We pray for the family of Ginger Taylor, Bill Taylor's mother, with her passing. We pray that you would heal the hurting hearts. We thank you for this good woman. Be with Bill and be with their family as we're going through this difficult time. We pray for Miss Connie. We pray for healing as she's dealing with cancer. We pray for Miss Tommy and Miss Liz as you keep them upright, keep them going. We pray for the families of the Abbott firefighter that was killed in an accident on the road this week. Lord, we pray for safety for our first responders. And we pray for your grace to cover all of those hurting hearts. But healing upon Miss Becky, thank you for what you did last Easter Sunday for filling this little house. We pray for that you take hold of those that need us, need you, need the grace of your Son Jesus Christ shine the light in their darkness. Let us overcome the demons of addiction and doubt, temptation, downright evil sin. And let us hold on to you no matter what. 
as we walk through the valley of the shadow. May your Holy Spirit guide us, be a buffer for us. May the words of your Son, Jesus Christ, and his grace cover us. And may we look to you, our Creator, our Daddy who loves us no matter what, our Father, our God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus, to save us. It's his name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
the son shall ask for bread of any of you as of, of the father will he give him a, a stone or if he asks for a fish will he give him a serpent praise be the lord our god for these words amen if you would please bow your heads in prayer dear heavenly father dear god we thank you for the words of life the words of God providing for us no matter what that we should ask and we should seek and we should find and we should be fed on your word and filled up with your spirit that you love for us and provide for us and show us the way we pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Will our shelter and our clothing endure the, the, 
the trials of the environment we find ourselves in? Will there be enough time, enough money, enough resources for us to even gather these supplies, this food, water, shelter, and clothing that we may survive the coming days? Will there be enough? That is the question. And as with so many other things, the answer is given in the scriptures. So then, let us turn in our Bibles once again to the Gospel of Luke, the 11th chapter. And from the 9th unto the 11th verse, I say again, Luke chapter 11, verses 9 through 11. Listen now unto the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Praise be unto the Lord our God for these words. Amen. That is the answer that is given to us, the reply to humankind's never-ending question of will it be enough? And that answer is yes, that if we will only ask of our God that it shall be given unto us in the best possible form, that if we will only knock upon the door, it shall be opened unto us as God wills. That if we seek, we will find what God desires us to find. That if we will only trust our Father, that he will provide and will provide us bread and not a stone. But even so, we must remember, and it is all too easy to forget, that as it is written in the book of Isaiah, that God's ways are not always our ways, that his thoughts are not our thoughts, and that while we may receive bread, we may not always receive the particular slice, the particular flavor, the particular way in which the blessing comes, that may not always come to us. It may not always be exactly what we wanted, the instant relief of whatever desire we have. But it will be bread nonetheless. It will be a blessing nonetheless. It will be through the will of our God, the will of our Father, be the best possible thing for us, though we may not even know it at the time, that God will provide, and one way or another, in life and in death, we will make it through and will be returned to his side. But that is not to say that a lack of visible provision is a lack of love, that God does not love those who die in need and in hunger. That is not to say that God does not love those who perish crying out for salvation. And indeed, I will be the first to admit that that I do not know the answer to every question we might have, but I will say that I know 
this one thing, that all those who have given their hearts and their minds to Christ, those who have committed their lives to Him, no matter the circumstance of their death, they will be gathered unto the side of the Father. They will be caught up to heaven. They will receive that true and blessed and best possible thing. It, despite and through their circumstances, that they found what they needed at the side of God, even if it was not in this life. For in this life, or in the next, God will provide, and we will make it through in His own time, in His own way. But while we wait for the will of God to be done, while we wait for the door to be opened, while we knock, while we wait for God's time to be fulfilled, let us not sit idle. Let us do His will in our lives. Let us seek first the kingdom of God as Christ himself commands in Matthew 6.33, knowing that if we will do the will of God, if we will seek that kingdom, then all these things shall be added unto us. That if we perform his will, he will give us the means and the opportunities to do so, that he will open the way for us to perform his will and will give us the supplies, the options, the chances and connections required to make his will a reality on this earth and to sustain us while we do so, all to bring the best possible thing to bring that fish, that bread, that overflowing blessing that whose true value God alone knows unto this earth. So then, let us seek his kingdom, knowing that all these things shall be added unto us. Let us ask, knowing that that we shall have an answer. Let us knock, knowing the door shall be opened. Let us seek, knowing that we shall find. And let us trust, knowing that in his own time, in his own way, God will provide. In his name, amen.
Count your many blessings, see what God has done. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be discouraged, God is over all. Count your blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you to you. And let us go from this house today knowing that the Lord will provide. In Jesus' name, amen.